I think it's finally time to start a new topic on this channel, as there's been a pretty exciting rumor regarding Elon taking his satellite internet constellation company Starlink public, which is the company that Elon plans to use as an income stream for SpaceX. And while the news of Starlink potentially going public is nothing new, as Elon came out on Twitter in 2020 stating that Starlink will most likely go public once their financials are more steady. And what's really interesting here, and the main purpose of this video, is to discuss the new rumor with Starlink going public. So right off the bat, there's a rumor going around that Starlink could potentially be going public via a SPAC ticker called IPOF. And if you're at all interested in investing in early companies that have the potential to seriously make you rich, like say as an early investor in Tesla, then stick around because I'd like to share some really insightful content with you guys that'll give you a better idea of everything that's going on right now. And at the end of this video, I'll be giving my closing thoughts and if I think this stock is a good buy right now. And before I get into how this rumor actually started, and if there's any legitimacy behind it, just for a bit of context behind IPOF, like I mentioned, this is a special purpose acquisition company. It's a partnership between Chamath's venture capital firm Social Capital and another London-based firm called Hedo Sophia, which together create Social Capital Hedo Sophia Holdings, under which different companies can go public through SPACs. And for anyone who follows emerging technology and space stocks, these tickers should probably look familiar, as IPOA was what took Virgin Galactic public, and IPOE was a merger with the fintech company SoFi. And not on a dissimilar note, with IPOF, they intend to focus their search for a target business operating in the technology industries, meaning that a company like Starlink could be a prime candidate. However, out of all the technology companies that IPOF could merge with, how is Starlink even in the picture? Well, to begin, it all started when Shamath Palihapa Papaya said he would be stepping down from Virgin Galactic's board to focus on other existing and upcoming public board events, which of course could potentially mean becoming a member of the board for a company that will eventually be merging with IPOF. So to be honest here, there could be a multitude of different reasons why Chamath Palihapa Platypus decided to step down from the space tourism company Virgin Galactic. However, the rumor that's been circulating is that he's turning his attention to IPOF and that Starlink will be the company that'll be merging here. And if we look to Reddit user AccordingCar7903, he actually gave a pretty interesting theory that he pulled from a different form. Listen to this. Chamath Social Capital, the largest shareholder of Swarm, which believe it or not is a subsidiary of SpaceX that's offering IoT services, is estimated to have acquired a stake in SpaceX worth about $1.15 billion through this merger agreement. Now here's where things really start to get interesting, and is also part of the speculation. $1.15 billion is roughly the same size as IPOF. Not quite, but I'd say it's close enough. Very interesting indeed, considering that this post was about 3 months before the time of recording this video. Of course, at the end of the day, this is all still speculation, and it's still not clear if Starlink will really be merging with IPOF. One thing to note here that I do think is important though, is that Elon doesn't want to take SpaceX public. And this is something that he's been very vocal about, as he doesn't want to be at the whims of the shareholders who constantly want to see revenue growth quarter after quarter, when at the end of the day, all Elon wants to do is go to Mars. And at least for the time being, there's honestly not a lot of profits to be made in an exploration mission, which ultimately means that Elon needs a cash generator to fund his dream of going to Mars. And that's Starlink. And while sure, Elon could whip out a line of NFTs and sell them for a million dollars a pop to raise some quick capital, I'd venture to say that Starlink will undoubtedly provide a much more stable and passive source of reoccurring revenue that Elon will ultimately be able to funnel into his SpaceX missions. 
And the hope is that to speed up cash availability, Elon understands that he would need to take Starlink public, because this way, he could still retain a massive amount of ownership and control with SpaceX, while also having access to the massive amounts of new equity in the stock market from the Starlink listing. I mean, I think by this point, Elon knows the popularity his own name would bring to a newly listed company of his. Which brings me to the psychological portion of investing in Starlink. I think a lot of people will be looking at investing in this company as similar to being an early investor in Tesla. And with the extreme amount of clout and popularity Elon has gained over the last few years, Elon bringing a new company of his to the public markets would be like offering up a gold mine in the eyes of a lot of investors. And to be honest, I wouldn't disagree with this sentiment. Elon Musk is his own brand of crazy, mixed with a hyper-intelligent mind, and it works for him. Elon has shown time and time again that he is an extremely capable CEO that understands the core fundamentals of operating cutting-edge technology ventures, which is why when Starlink does legitimately go public, I will 100% be investing in it. It's just too good of an opportunity to pass up in my opinion. Now, with all that being said, do I think that IPOF will be merging with Starlink? And just to keep it a buck 50 with you guys, I honestly have no f***ing idea. I mean, how could anyone? At this point, there's only speculation to go off of, which means we're probably not going to hear any solidifying details about Starlink going public until potentially later this year, or maybe even into the next. However, I don't think it'd be fair to you guys for me to just give you a dumb, I don't know cop out sort of answer regarding IPOF. I think with the uncertain market we're in right now, there's lots of really, really good deals out there with a lot of companies trading at fair and below fair valuations. However, with IPOF, what I find so intriguing about this stock is that it's still early. And to be honest, that's usually where the most gains in the markets are seen, which is true for crypto and NFTs as well. If you get into an investment early, before all the hype, the amount of money that can be made is absolutely insane. And I kind of feel like this is how you should be viewing IPOF, with some speculation of course. Currently, it's still trading at around $10 a share, and given that it's had an incredibly strong support level of $9.80 over the last year, IPOF is a stock that I feel offers an incredible risk to reward deal. I just think it's important to call out here that while I would consider IPOF on the safer side of risk to reward potential, there is still some risk here, as it's still not yet confirmed that Starlink will be merging with IPOF. That being said though, I think it might be interesting to potentially buy some shares of IPOF while the price is still low, and just hold and see what happens. And even if for whatever reason Starlink never merges with IPOF, as long as the rumor is still alive and well, at least for a while, as soon as more retail investors and traders hear the rumor of Starlink potentially merging with IPOF, that could also potentially cause the stock to have a massive run up, even if the merger never takes place. So the way I see it, and while this is in no way financial advice, here's what I would do. If you personally like the risk to reward potential in IPOF, and won't be disappointed if Starlink never merges with them, it might be worth taking a small amount of money that you don't care about losing and putting some into IPOF as a speculative bet. Being that IPOF still has no merger, I can see the price remaining fairly stable at around $9-$10 to $10 for a long time. And once the rumor spreads more, like I mentioned, there's a good chance that the amount of hype around the stock could cause it to shoot up. And if you do happen to invest in IPOF and get lucky, and it's officially announced that the Starlink merger will happen, well, you just won the lottery. And now you own shares of a company that you can potentially hold on to for life. So yeah, I think there's a good argument to be made that if Starlink were to go public, a SPAC would be a legitimate route for Elon to take. All I hope is that he does it soon, and that IPOF is that vehicle. Probably not likely, but I'm going to hold out some hope here. Anyway guys, that'll wrap up the video for today. If you enjoy me talking about new topics like this, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment below so we can have a discussion. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.